Hey guys, welcome back to the game we're playing. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Flash Gordon on the Atari 2600, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. All right, man, released by 20th Century Fox back in 1983. Ah, yes, Flash Gordon was a, he's kind of a comic book hero, you know, back in the uh, early days, uh, you know, the 60s, I believe they used him in uh, various things. He was in a, a cartoon, Defenders of the Earth, for a little bit back in the uh, 80s, and uh, he actually recently had a television show, I think it was on Sci-Fi, and it lasted one or two seasons before being canceled. I was never really into, uh, you know, this guy, but... Apparently, he, uh, he's had a number of things, video games, there's been parodies. Uh, he's pretty popular among a lot of fans. But anyway, here is the description of this game. Something must be done. Another American spaceship has been reported missing. Far too many of our explorers have disappeared near the mysterious Spider City for this to be mere c a coincidence. A rescue ship must be dispatched immediately. But who would volunteer for such a mission? Who would have the courage to descend into the tunnels of that awful city and battle with the wicked Spider Warriors? Who would risk being trapped by a dreadful disruptor? There is only one person who could measure up to such a challenge? Flash Gordon to the rescue! That's right, baby. Flash Gordon is gonna come in here and kick some ass. Alright, you're uh, seeing the demo of this game, which is pretty much the whole game, because after all, this is Atari. But anyway, here's the objective as written in the booklet. Many dedicated spacemen have entered Spider City, but none have ever been heard from again. It is up to you, Flash Gordon, to rescue any surviving spacemen and to conquer this hideous city of tunnels. Spider City is conquered when all of its hatching pods are eliminated. It doesn't hurt to blast a few generators or enemy patrol ships while you're there. Disruptors? These are represented on the map by large crosses. The disruptors cannot be truly destroyed. How about we play? Okay, are you confused? Are you confused right now? Okay, so I'm flying in space. Where am I going? Where am I going? Okay, right off the bat... A big problem with this game is when you're going left or right, your ship is moved up all the way into the front of the screen. So you don't really know what's coming in front of you. Of course, you could always be firing. So that will take care of something in front of you. But how are you supposed to navigate through that passage? After all, if you look on the bottom of the screen, that's where you navigate. So how do you turn? What's left and right? I can't turn the ship up and down. How does that work? Well, basically, you're not... You know, at least for me personally, I barely pay attention to the top part of the screen. You know what? It actually kind of reminds me of a more current game. This is kind of funny, but Final Fantasy X, when you play Blitzball, you spend more time looking at the map grid to see who's coming at you and where you're going, rather than look at the action and what you're semi-kind of doing on the screen and what's going on around your surroundings. So right now I got killed. So let's look at the map on the bottom. Which one's me? Which one's me? Well, that little yellow dot that's getting fucked by the cross. What's going on? We're gonna have to start a new game. Okay. Look to the middle of the screen right now. You can see me going back uh, left and right there. That is me. That dot is me. Now, what I want to do is find the other dots. Okay, that disruptor thing's coming at me. I'm gonna have to... See, right now I'm hitting, I'm hitting up, I'm hitting left, or right, down, going back up. I'm pretty much looking at the bottom of the screen. But you gotta be, you know, you gotta be careful, you gotta, whoa, see that was close. You gotta look up at the screen to make sure nothing is gonna, you know, fuck you up. So if I go down here, I'm at the far right end there, it brings me on the top of the screen. This is common in a lot of Atari games. Now, if I go over there, it's kind of like a shortcut. Brings me out on the left side of the screen. Let's get this dot up here. We're rescuing. In the purplish blue bar there, you can see three little dots. Those are my three lives. Okay. Yeah, you do, you do not want to run into these crosses. They can fuck you up. Uh-oh, that's bad. Let's take a detour over this way. So I collected them all. But you still gotta take care of these fuckheads. Whoa! Is it broken? Oh no, that means next level. 
Next stage. The game is pretty much endless. And there are no real rewards or endings in this game. Once again, Atari games all about points. Good stuff. Oh shit, that thing's on my ass. Ah, oh, took my eyes off the screen, and I got butt fucked. Okay. Now this game would have been a lot better for its time if this ship could have been centered, at least, you know? But, oh shit. But the controls are horrible. Ah! Oh, I can't, I can't get away from that fucking cross guy. The disruptor. Shit. Oh! Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Okay, good stuff. Oh no, that's bad stuff. You can get lucky and actually manage to make it pretty far in this game. It all depends on staying away from those goddamn disruptors. See, right now I gotta get, I gotta go back for this one. Oh shit! Oh, that was close. Okay, that's not good. I'm gonna have to take the long way. No, oh, he won't let me by. See, he keeps coming back for me. I'm gonna have to take the long way. Fuck! Wasn't watching my ass. What, it looks like Kermit the Frog or something. All right, almost there. Shit! Be careful. There we go. Hoo ah! I got an extra life because I completed a level. Or you know, that could actually be points. I don't know. Shit! Here it comes the disruptor. Now, as you progress uh, up the levels, these these disruptor guys get like really fast. As you can see, they're a little faster than before. Whoa, doggy! If you leave your finger on the uh, button, it keeps a rapid fire on, which comes in handy so you don't have to keep tapping the button. This is definitely getting a lot harder. Let's go up. We shall go up! Ah. Okay, now we have to head towards the middle. Let's get these others. But this could get sticky. Uh-oh, here we go. Here it comes. Can I make it? Oh, shit. Oh, got me. Oh, no. Not good. Oh, come on. That's not fair. Did I make it? I think I made it. Wow, I thought I got killed. Was that a glitch right there? Oh, shit. The disruptors got me. Yeah, all those crazy colors flying at me. That's, uh... That's when you know the disruptor is on your ass. They're even faster than before. And it's always a pain in the ass when you have to turn around if it's chasing you, because then that stops your motion. This is my punishment for never watching Flash Gordon when I was a kid. Oh, assholes! No! Oh, I died. I got pretty far, I guess. And not bad, right? Okay, guys, that is Flash Gordon on the Atari 2600. I am Dave the Usher. Stay tuned for the next part of Flash Gordon. We're going to be trying one more time. Maybe I can beat my high score. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'll see you guys next time. I am out. Defenders of the Earth!